So in today's session, we are going to discuss about reports and dashboards. So reports and dashboards <clears throat> is not a very important topic, guys. This is this normally we developers don't create reports and dashboards. Okay. <clears throat> because these reports and dashboards maximum will be created by administrators, service no administrators. Okay. In my development career, in my development career, I have created very less reports because these reports and all will be created by service now administrators. Okay. It's not a developer job. It's actually an admin job. However, it is be better to learn these reports and dashboards stuff. So, <clears throat> to create a report, so normally, guys, uh, you tell me, <clears throat> management, management, they won't go to tables and they, they don't see, they don't filter out, they don't see all these things. They want statistics. In the last month, how many incidents closed? In this month, how many incidents are created, which are in progress? which are in uh, on hold, which are in dissolved state, which are in closed state. So management want a report. <clears throat> management won't go to tables and they don't search for everything. So they just want a report. Okay. So these reports and dashboards are for management purpose maximum. So management, they don't go to tables and they don't filter out everything. They will see the reports. Okay, so to create the report, you have to go to personal developer instance and create new, type create new. Let us type reports here. So in the reports, you can just click on view run or create new. You can do any of these things. You can click on create new or view run. Any of them you can do. So I'm just clicking on view run. So from here, I'm actually creating a new report here. Okay. So closed finance cases in the last month. Closed finance cases in the last month. The source type here you select as table. Okay. The table I am here selecting as finance case. The table that I am selecting here as finance case. <clears throat> So report name I mentioned here as closed finance cases in the last month. Source type table I have selected. The table name is finance case. <clears throat> so here you can see we have different type of reports. We have bar type report. We have histogram type report. Okay. We have horizontal bar. We have Pareto type uh, report. So we have donor type. We have pie type. Okay. And this one semi donor type. So area type and column type, line type, spy uh, line type, and step line type, bubble type, heat map, mm. multi-level pivot table, score type, score type. So these are like, these are the these are the types of reports that are available in service now. They will ask you sometimes if they are if they <clears throat> when they ask you questions on reports. So tell me some of the types of reports. So in that case, you should answer this one. So we have donor type, semi donor type, we have bar type, histogram type, uh, horizontal bar type, horizontal bar type, we have donor type. 
pi type, semi donor type. We have area type, column type, we have line type, uh, uh, SP line type, this bubble type. So you have to answer all of these things. We have different type of reports here. Okay, I am choosing list type of report. A list type of report. This is actually a list type of report. I'm choosing list type of report here. After choosing the type of report, you move next. So here in the report, what are all the columns that you want to show? In this report, what are the columns that you want to show? So here by default, it is showing number, active, assigned, caller, uh, email, location, department, total amount, summary, uh, some. These are the columns by default it is showing guys. Okay, these are the columns by default it is showing. So instead of um, uh, showing all the columns, I want to show only few columns. Okay, number. Um, I don't want caller, email, location, department, total amount, summary, state, assignment group, affected caller, category, uh, closed at. Configuration item, contact type is not required. Created is not created by. Closed that is not required. So only these fields I want to show in the report. So then I have chose the columns and you can just click on run so that you can see only those those where those fields only on the report. Okay. <clears throat> Choose columns means what are the columns that you want to show in the report group by so now it is group, grouping by using <coughs> active field so i want to group it by using priority i want to group it by using priority if i group by priority so in the empty priority there are 15 records in the critical priority there are seven records so you can drill down this one guys you can drill down this one when you click on this one i'm using control click so it will actually open, it will take you to the list of finance cases which are in the critical state. So which are in the critical state. <clears throat> okay. So likewise, you can uh, go to the report. You can see the, the report grouping by priority. So if you want to take additional group by as well, additional group by I am taking as state. State as additional group by. It has additional group. So now you can see you have two group bys. One is actually priority, another one is state. If you select state, so it will actually pull the report on state as a state group by. So in the closed state, there are four records. In the in-progress state, there are three records. In the new state, there are three records. In the resolved state, there are 59 records. Okay. You understand my point, <clears throat> everyone? Hmm? Okay. No, I don't want list type of um, uh, report. I want to see um, <clears throat> bar type. This is actually a bar type. So in the bar type, you can select, okay, you can select what are all the, with which, with which field you want to group by, it is selected as priority. So now it is actually grouping by using priority. I want to group by using state. Okay, additional group by using priority. So stack by stack by means guys, it will actually again, it will, it will actually uh, split it. So here you can see we have, we are actually grouping by using priority, right? Let me run this one. Now it is actually grouping by using state. So in this state, I want to, in the resolved state, how many priority uh, in the resolved state uh, with the priority one, how many incidents are there? With the priority two, how many incidents are there? With the priority three, how many incidents are there? So how many finance cases are there? I want to again 
uh, stack it. I want to again split it. So let me just use uh, priority here. You can see in the resolved state, um, there are empty, empty records, uh, empty priority, 15 records are there. Uh, critical priority, four records are there. Um, one high uh, one high one high priority record is there and uh, very low priority there are 34 39 records are there see we have grouped by using state field in that state in the every state how many priorities um for priority one how many incidents are there for for high priority how many how many finance cases are there so i am again actually stacking by this one you are getting my point guys Everyone. Hmm? Okay. So if you go to a table, if you go to a table, I'm going to this particular table, finance case table. So when I open any dictionary, when I open any dictionary, Go to directly dictionaries. So when I go to dictionary, so in the dictionary, you could see a field called function field. Function field is not there here. Okay, so there is a function field here. What exactly this function field does? So this function field on the table, this function field on the table will be created from the report. This function field, right? This is read only, you can't do anything with this one here. So this function field, you will create it from the report. If you go to your report here, in the report, you are able to see configure function field option here. If you click on this one, it will allow you to it will allow you to create a new function field. Okay. So I am creating a field called closure time. Closure. So here it is actually a duration I'm taking duration. Uh, type of field it is. It is a duration type of field. So, <clears throat> so operation date difference. Date difference. So date difference between create a time and close a time. Create a time, comma, close a time. So, I am taking the date difference between created date and the closed date. So the difference between created date and closed date, you will get it in the uh, you, will, you will get it in a um, difference. Difference in the sense you can get it in a days, hours, minutes, seconds. So whatever the duration that you get, that you are storing in a closure time field. So now I am creating a field uh, that is actually a closure time field. In that field, what I am doing is I am calculating the date difference between created time and the closure time. So between the created time and closure time, what is the duration? The duration this field will store. Okay. This field is only for reporting purpose, guys. We are actually using, we are creating this field reporting purpose. Okay. So now you go to the table and you see an extra field would have been created here. Okay. Now you, you, you can see an extra field would have been created here.
Okay. You can see the field name is started with U underscore RPT underscore closure time. So RPT means report. Okay, U underscore RPT underscore closure time. Did you notice this one, guys? U underscore RPT underscore closure time. So you open this one. You can see now the function field checkbox is checked here. This, that function field itself is not appearing. Yeah, there is no function field. You can see the function field checkbox is now checked here. <clears throat> this this field this field is checked here, guys. Because this field is created from the report. Did you notice this one? Is this field created from the report or not? Everyone. This field is created from the report. So if you want to add this field also on the report, then go to the columns. Okay. So we are not showing any columns here, right? This is actually a bar type. Okay, this is a bar type. If it is list type, we would have added the, added the columns. Okay. So then what you will do is, after doing all these things, you can do aggregation. Aggregation means if you want to take the count here. So you are getting the counts here, right? A very low 39. Here this is high 1. So, and here in the result, how many, how many result tickets are there? The result, how many tickets are there? As it is stacking by, so in the very low, there are 75 records. The MD priority. The critical seven with the high there is one so instead of count you want to get average average some maximum minimum okay so maximum minimum if you select which field maximum which field minimum you want is what it is asking i want to get the sum so sum means which field sum it is asking average so we'll take only count. Okay. Just go to the next here. So it is about styling. <clears throat> it is about styling, guys. Okay. So display data labels. Okay. Display data labels in the middle. Okay. Uh, allow data labels to overlap. Allow custom chart size. So you can customize something like this one. So it is all about styling, guys. It is all about styling. If you want to change the colors. Okay, it has taken different colors here. Okay. So go to title. Custom chart title position. Center. It is now it is showing in the center, right? I want to show it in the left. So this will be shown in the left. The chart title is now showing in the left. Okay. 
टाइटल साइज सिक्सटीन राइट आई एम कीपिंग थर्टी टू डबलिंग इट नो द शार्ट टाइटल साइज इज इंक्रीज्ड सो इट इज ऑल अबाउट स्टाइलिंग गाइस इट इज ऑल अबाउट स्टाइलिंग ओके सो आफ्टर ऑल दिस वॉट यू विल डू इज यू विल एक्चुअली रन दिस वन दिस रन इज नथिंग बट प्रिव्यू दिस रन इज नथिंग बट प्रिव्यू गाइज ओके टू सेव दिस वन यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन सेव टू सेव दिस वन यू हैव टू क्लिक ऑन सेव नाउ द रिपोर्ट इज एक्चुअली क्रिएटेड एंड इट इज सेव इट इज सेव इन दट इज स्टोर्ड इन द अपडेट सेट रिपोर्ट इज नाउ स्टोर्ड इन द अपडेट सेट so update sets concept you all remember right hmm everyone okay fine <clears throat> after that after that what we will do is we can save this as a data source we can save it as data source what is this data source and all i'll tell you i can i am saving this as a data source okay so before creating it as a data source i have to explain you something so after that uh, uh, after configuring all these things you have to go to filter you have to go to filter in the last month so last month means created created on go to months last month so you can run this filter so you have applied the filter now so you have applied the filter now after applying the filter you are saving this one after saving this one you are making this as a data source you are converting this as a data source so guys data source it is nothing but a template report template this data source is nothing but a report template okay <clears throat> so created on last month i told you right created on last month this one i am actually creating as a template report source is nothing but a template do you know i think many of you know what is template and all okay grants template so i have saved it as a data source that is because we can use the template for next report we can use the template for next report i'll tell you oh, how does it work and all so now i have applied the filter and i have actually saved this one so that this filter is also saved okay now fine after that we can schedule this report so we did discuss uh, scheduled jobs you remember so when we discussed the scheduled jobs schedule a report is what we discussed okay schedule a report <clears throat> so automatically schedule a report of uh, you are choosing something like that we have seen in the scheduled jobs okay so automatically generate generate automate automate the generation and distribution of a report so you choose this one so here what you will do you will write the report name uh, you will you will give the scheduled email of report okay finance case report so this is the report name so we created a report right this report name you will select here this is the report that you select here for the recipients okay so 
so if you want to mention the group so if you mention the group what happens if the group has group email address service now will send an email to that group email address if the group has no group email address it will send an email to the group members email address <clears throat> so you can also provide the individual email addresses as well okay so if you want to schedule this report on a scheduled basis like frequency you can select here so every day every day at, at this particular time so weekly weekly on every monday every saturday every um, uh, every sunday so something like that you can send this report weekly basis monthly basis periodic basis so once means only one time so i told you on demand means so you have to manually run this scheduled job on demand means you have to manually execute this scheduled job and also i told you how to send this scheduled job uh, how to run this report only on the weekdays not uh, only uh, only on the weekdays uh, not on saturdays and sundays how to send this report only on the month ends how to send this report only on the last saturdays so i have told you do you remember guys hmm hmm do you remember that so likewise we can schedule the reports okay Okay. I'm telling daily or weekly on Sunday at this particular time, this job should run and it will send an email. So likewise, you can schedule the report, guys. You can schedule the report. So you can go out to the scheduled jobs and create a job or else what you can do is you can just click on this uh, sharing option. You can see schedule. Once you click on schedule, it will take you to the scheduled job. Okay, you can just click on sharing option. Once you click on this one and you click on schedule means it will take you to the scheduled job. So this is what we have used. This is the scheduled job that we have used right just a while ago. Okay. So if you want to share this report with uh, your manager or uh, if you want to share this report with some other, uh, um, you know, uh, teams, uh, you can share this report with some other team members as well. Okay. So here, what I'm doing is, I'm selecting everyone who is having, everyone who is having ITIL role. Everyone who is having ITIL role. So that means this report will be shared to everyone who is having ITIL role, guys. Okay. 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 So you can share the report to everyone who, uh, who is having ITIL role. So instead of sharing it to everyone, you can share it to only groups or users who is um, uh, part of application development group members. Okay. And I'm sharing it to Ramesh. Okay. So I want to share this report to this particular application development group and this particular group, uh, this particular 
users. So if you want to share this report, something like this one, okay. Okay. So you are sharing the report, guys. You are sharing the report. Okay. That is fine. Still, when even though, I mean, you are sharing this report to some other team members, but they are not able to see it. Okay. That is because, that is because they should have permissions to the reports on the access controls. So if you go to the uh, access control, If you go to the access control, okay. I'm just having a little bit here. So I have security admin role. So in the finance case table, we can rip using this access control, using this access control. Okay. We can actually restrict the report views as well using this access control. So you can see there is a report view option. Report to view on the finance case. Report view on the finance case. I am restricting it to only admins. Only admins. This report to uh, view permission, I am only giving it to admins. So you granted this report permission to, you granted this report permission to uh, application development group members and some other, uh, okay, application development group members as well as Ramesh. Okay, so if they don't have admin permission, if they don't have admin permission, okay, <clears throat> so if they don't have admin permission, they can't see this report, even though they, even though you shared this report with them, they don't have permission to see the report on the finance case table. They don't have permission to see the report on the finance case table. So, to see the reports on the finance case table, you must uh, satisfy the access control guys. Remember this point. Is that clear, everyone? Hello? Okay. <clears throat> So now if you want to export this report, if you want to export this report, you can also export this uh, uh, report as a PDF, okay? So you can actually uh, send as an email, you can send this report as an email, you can mention the email address here, so that this report will be sent out, okay? So you can export the uh, report PDF to your email address, you can download, Okay. So now the report will be downloaded. Now the report will be downloaded. So likewise, you can export the report as well from here. Okay. If you want to add this report to
to a dashboard okay so dashboard means it is a collection of reports guys dashboard is a collection of reports so if you want to add this report to a dashboard okay so first of all you have to select the dashboard name i am just adding it under incident overview dashboard under incident overview dashboard how many tabs are there only one tab is there so i am adding this report under one dashboard okay i have added this report under one dashboard you can see closed finance cases in the last month so this report i have added to a dashboard this report this dashboard has a lot of reports this report has this this um, uh, dashboard has lot of reports here you can see so many reports are there so dashboard is actually a collection of reports dashboard is a collection of reports okay well let me just go to the reports here what is happening here <clears throat> see because uh, this dashboard has too much data that is why it is stuck looks like this dashboard has too much data because we have almost 1 lakh 98000 uh one i think one crore incidents are there so 19 lakhs 88024 incidents are there right i don't know incidents are actually keep on creating and in my instances i have to figure out where, where exactly it is creating and all Unnecessarily, I opened this particular thing. Okay.
unless I open this dashboard, guys, it is my system is stuck. Okay. So this is the report. This is the report that we created, guys. The report was starting from data. So then we have actually selected source type as a table here. Okay. Now I am actually choosing. See, I'm creating a new report, guys. See, we have already created one report. That is actually our report name is this one, source type as table, table name as finance case, and we have selected the type type of the report. We have provided the configurations, and we have actually adding some style to it. We kept the condition, and we have actually um, saved the report. After that, we have actually saved as a data source. Remember, we have saved it as a data source, right? Okay. So then after that, we have actually shared this report to some people and we have scheduled it. We have actually added, downloaded it as a PDF and we have actually added to a dashboard. So that's are actually about uh, reports, guys. So in the while, here, while we are actually creating the report, while we are creating the report, so we can select the source type as data source. When you select the source type as data source, okay, so we have created one data source, right? Finance template. This is what we created. This is what we created. So whenever I choose the template here, whenever I choose the template here, the condition is automatically populated here, created on last month. The condition is automatically populated. So let me go back here again. Let me create a new report. So this time I'm not selecting table here. I'm selecting data source here. Data source means we already created one data source using save as data source. You remember? So that data source I'm selecting here. Finance template. As soon as I select the finance template here, will automatically populate it, the condition and all. The condition is automatically populated. You see here. You can select the type of report now. You can select this one. So it is coming as a list. So you can select a bar type. And you can click on run. Run is actually nothing but preview. Okay. Then next. Group by I am actually using here as state. Next. Okay. And save this one. This one we did not actually select a um, table. We did select here as data source. If you select data source, what happens? Table will automatically come. Condition will automatically come. So we created data source. How many? Do you remember? We created data source. You remember or not, guys? Everyone. So from here, we created a data source, something like this one. So that data source I am selecting here. So I am choosing data source here. That data source I am selecting here. So when I select the data source, table will be automatically selected. Condom, uh, condition also, uh, condition also will automatically selected. Okay. Condition is also automatically applied. So we can create a report using table. You can create a report using data source as well. Okay. So 
that is it actually about our reports guys hope you understand about reports concept hmm? i am unmuting everyone so is that clear everyone yeah yes today ravi sir one loud sir yeah please uh, we can schedule the whole, entire dashboard sir we can it is possible so scheduling the dashboards is not possible scheduling the reports is possible okay sir so see schedule have a lot of uh, reports schedule has sorry dashboard has lot of reports and lot of data so it is not possible to uh, schedule the dashboard it is possible to schedule the report the dashboards concept will be discussing tomorrow okay Uday, tomorrow also same time, right? Tomorrow also same time. Okay. Yeah, Uday, not uh, regarding today's session, Uday. Uh, if you don't mind, can you open any record, Uday, incident or anything? I mean, incident. any table. Any table record? Huh? Yes. Okay. Yeah, here, I mean, uh, some uh, from the internet I found somewhere. suppose we have the showing the mandatory fields right with the highlighting with the star mark hmm uh suppose uh, my uh, is it possible or not uh, my requirement is hmm. suppose total amount is mandatory assumption total hmm. amount is mandatory here hmm. then i have the nearly 50 to 100 controls right example wise i am saying uh, controls are there i mean control in the sense text box or anything i need uh, to uh, show the message and uh, it should be highlight automatically if that is in the bottom of the screen it need to be i am able to see on the screen itself i need to highlight that uh, control total amount control i need to highlight yeah you can highlight it you can highlight I mean, uh, it. yeah what is the process for that one see for highlighting we have uh, multiple things okay we can use a uh, g underscore form dot flash option flash okay control shift j it's not flash it is actually flash g underscore form dot okay this is related to javascript thing okay okay so color you have to mention here it is highlighting right did you notice this one the total amount is actually is highlighting yes and uh, highlighting is good today and uh, as per now we are on the top of the screen can you scroll down once yeah uh, now we are unable to see that uh, control right now if i am uh, click on the save i need to go to that uh, i mean i need to move to that control directly uh, including highlight e, that is also plausible with uh, flash Mm, which one you are pointing out? I didn't understand. Now we are unable to see that total uh, counter. Yeah. Uh, total amount right? field. Yeah. Now what I am doing is, I am click on the save button now. Mm -hmm. While saving the button, automatically mm -hmm. it is mandatory field, right? I need to move to that control uh, directly. Instead of I am not moving to the scroll bar. Okay, it is highlighting, but it is not actually taking you to that particular field. Yes. So that means uh, the scroll bar should move up. Yes, yes. Yeah, everything is possible. Definitely, it is possible. Yeah, using JavaScript or anything, we need to use. Okay. We need to use. My we, need, we need to use JavaScript. Okay. Okay. I will. So let us say this form background color is white now. 
you want to yes. change to you want to change the background color to some some around around pink or uh, black you can do it yes see these farms are designed using javascript html css and okay yes it's yes okay everything is possible in service now anil uh, you want the scroll bar should run automatically to move up right that is what your requirement yes, yeah, right yeah uh, okay see whenever he clicks on uh, something if that is a mandatory field it is it is getting mandatory that is fine it is highlighting that is fine the form the, the person should be taken to that particular field who whoever doing the whoever is doing the action that person should be navigated to that particular field uh, directly automatically, automatically. Yeah. yeah yeah that can be done so okay. i think okay, like, okay. i think we can use focus i think we can use focus for this okay you give it try it from your end and you give it try okay okay and so, uh, another thing right, yesterday you provided one task right that is related to the email things mm-hmm. uh, i mean what we have observed is uh, yesterday priyanka and myself was connected and uh, we, uh, always it is uh, overriding if you are providing the any body or subject mm-hmm. uh, finally it will be executed is it correct or uh, anything will be there finally email script will be overridden y- yes yes yeah you are right okay brother. thank you so uh, guys i think you uh, by this time you i you guys are clear uh, uh, what is happening in service now and all okay what is happening in service now means service now is all about tables we have to be clear with the tables concepts and all by this time you must be able to understand uh, you must be having some idea about uh, service now tables you got you got an idea about service now or not basically till now by, by this time hmm? okay good to know so so tomorrow we'll connect at the same time guys okay tomorrow we'll connect at the same time thank you guys we'll see you there in tomorrow session thank you everyone